The transplanting of limbs and organs relies upon finding suitable donors. There are still many dangers. Tissues might not match, and the body's immune system can reject the new parts. The ideal would be to be able to grow new body parts from our own cells. This is what nature does. Adult salamanders can regrow tails or even limbs that are lost. They have cells in their bodies that can transform themselves into other types of cells to make bone and muscle. These are called stem cells, and we also have them in our bodies. They are most active in embryos, dividing to form all the different parts of our body. But scientists have recently discovered that they are also present in adults. Stem cells like these neural ones in the brain might be the key to repairing injuries or growing replacement limbs and organs. When Dr. Evan Snyder first discovered neural stem cells, he tested them by injecting them into shivera mice. Shivera mice are born with brain damage. Snyder hoped that an injection of stem cells into the mouse's brain would repair that damage. We simply took the same neural stem cells, put it into young shiverer mice, and let the cells distribute themselves all throughout the brain. And sure enough, the cells started becoming exactly the kind of nerve cell that was needed to rescue these animals. It's as if the stem cell recognized that this kind of nerve cell is, is missing and maybe thought to itself, geez, I guess that's the kind of cell I need to become. Research is being carried out worldwide to find the triggers that will allow stem cells to become new body parts. Our belief is, is that in, in 50 years from now, you'll bank away some of your cells, you'll have them frozen away. Maybe in some cases you'll have those cells reprogrammed uh, to make skin or, or liver tissue or heart tissue so that if you come in with a, suddenly with a bad body burn, uh, we can take out of the freezer the skin that can be transplanted immediately on you if you have a bad body burn. Already, complex structures like the ear can be recreated in the laboratory. This is the plastic scaffolding or mold in the shape of a human ear with no cells. The scaffold was made from fine strands of a completely new kind of biodegradable plastic. What's so special about it is that when it's seeded with living cells, they stick to the fibers as they grow and take on the shape of the ear. The cells will take over, they will generate new tissue. The new tissue in this case is ear cartilage, and you can see the nice contours and it's floppy like an ear. And the plastic is gone, so the plastic basically dissolves, and the tissue we end up with is exactly the same shape as our initial implant. Soon. Amazing advances like these might help people with injuries like pennies. Using the same biodegradable plastic seeded with stem cells, Dr. Vacanti and his brother Martin have begun to treat rats whose spinal cords have been severed. These animals, who previously had no function below the injury, exhibited remarkable improvement. You know, it's got good muscle strength, the fur, he's grooming himself, he could hear, see how he moves his legs. When we started this project, we were hoping to see any sign of neurological recovery, such as movement of a toe, maybe, is, is what our initial hope was. And this was just completely unexpected. New nerve cells had grown across the gaps to make new connections. Even more amazing is that even though the new nerves grew across the gaps at random, it made no difference. It was like reconnecting a telephone cable haphazardly. But the rat's brains had figured out new routes, which still enabled them to control the body's functions. Experimenting on stem cells is controversial, but scientists here believe that the future medical benefits of this technology could be exceptional. There's the possibility that someone who was confined to a wheelchair would be able to walk normally again, 
and to have normal sensation and normal body functions. Through our knowledge and understanding of our brain and body, we are learning to extend and preserve life. By pushing ever further at the boundaries of our inner space, we unravel more of the mystery of life. By commanding nature, we have begun to take control of our own destiny.